video is about fear and euphoria in the stock market. Hello investors and traders, I will explain the VIX and the VXN and how you use this technical indicator in your investing or trading strategy. I will go in depth how to use this indicator and how to predict the overall market. I will decipher a clue which happens every one to three years which will predict a major move in the stock market. These indicators will also give you a weight of evidence as every week in the stock market. As usual, one indicator does not make a strategy and should be coupled with other indicators and philosophies. So you know the catchphrase, study it, analyze it, adapt it. CBOE Volatility Index, VIX, is a real-time index that represents the market's expectations for the relative strength of near-term price changes of the S&P 500 index, SPX. Because it is derived from the prices of the SPX index options with a near-term expiration date, it generates a 30-day forward project projection of volatility. Volatility, or how fast prices change, is often seen as a way to gauge market sentiment and in particular, the degree of fear among market participants. The index is more commonly known by its ticker symbol and is often referred to simply as the VIX. It was created by the Chicago Board Options Exchange, CBOE, and is maintained by the CBOE Global Markets. It is an important index in the world of trading and investment because it provides a quantifiable measure of market risk and investor sentiments. Key takeaways. The CBOE Volatility Index or VIX is a real-time market index representing the market's expectations for volatility over the coming 30 days. Investors use the VIX to measure the level of risk, fear, or stress in the market when making investment decisions. Traders can also trade the VIX using a variety of options and exchange-traded products or use VIX values to price derivatives. CBOE NASDAQ Volatility Index VX. VXN is a measure of market expectations of 30-day volatility for the NASDAQ 100 index as implied by the prices of options listed on the index. The Chicago Board Options Exchange, CBOE, launched the VXN on January 23, 2001. Some key takeaways. The CBOE NASDAQ Volatility Index VXN is a real-time market index representing the market's expectations for volatility in the NASDAQ's 100 index over the coming 30 days. The VXN was cre created as a counterpart to the VIX, which measures S&P 500 volatility, since the tech-heavy NASDAQ often diverges from the broader market. The VXN, like the VIX, is computed using the implied volatilities of options listed on the NASDAQ 100 index and functions best as a fear gauge or indicator of market nervousness about the technology sector. The overall market picture using the VIX and VXN. To simplify the VIX and the VXN, it is really a way at looking at the market sentiment. How are people feeling about the market? Are people scared? Are people feeling anxious? Or are people not scared? Get ready for story time. Bob thinks market is going down. 
so he buys options that the market is going down. If enough people join Bob, the options to cause the prices to go higher. Lots of people are nervous. We'll send the VIX higher. VIX is low if people think the market is going higher. No fear and euphoria in the market means a low VIX and VXN number. Usually, the masses are wrong. The more fear or the higher the VIX, the more opportunity it is to buy. Also, the lower the VIX, the less opportunity to buy and more of a place to take profits. Initial breakouts or breakdowns are the best places to get involved. As usual, the first moves leads to a violent upswing or downswing. As you know, I am a top-down investor. The top-down approach to investing focuses on the big picture or how the overall market is trending. Then it will look at the performance of sectors or industries and ultimately stock prices. If the overall market is doing well, chances are the sectors and stocks will also do well. Please watch the video on this channel for the top-down strategy explained and my investment strategy. Subscribe and like. That was my shameless plug. So I use the VIX and the VXN combined with other indicators to predict the overall market to give a weight of evidence. Let's look at a chart. I promise you at the start of this video an idea, a philosophy that would change your trading strategy. This only happens once out of every three, four years, but it has a good track record. Let's take a look over here in March, COVID-19 days. If you look back, the VIX and the VXN was at multi-year highs. In fact, it has never been touched the levels of COVID-19. Now your heart will be telling you, what's going to go on over here? Is the world going to end? The VIX and the VXN was very high. If we go back, there was no levels ever broken. So if you look back at each time of disasters in the stock market, the VIX and the VXN are at extreme high levels, multi-year high levels. This is the first sign that we can buy into the market. Great. So that was the trick that I promised you. This also works for multi-year lows also. Now I want to bring in another caveat that overbought can stand overbought for a long time and oversold can be oversold for a long time. So thus coupling in a MACD or a crossing point or double gap ups could add into the VIX and the VXN, sort of like a weight of evidence. So let me explain that again. VIX, multi-year high, crossing point, MACD, stop loss below the low, has worked many times. Now we're saying this only happens one, two, three years. Okay, what about the medium term, the short term, or even on a yearly basis. If you look back at each of these levels, the VIX has told us where somewhat the bottom is to jump in. Over and over again, this moves in a great way. Many times I go back in history, especially during crisis. If you look back at the European sovereign debit crisis and the 2010 flash crash and see where the VIX was at that time, it gave clear signals when to get out and when to get in. 
Of course, I've coupled the VIX index with other indicators to give me this weight of evidence. But let's quickly just go through a few other ones. August 2011, stock market falls. VIX, overbought levels, telling you when to get in and also a little bit when to get out. Continues. If we were buying on the oversold levels of the VIX, it turned out even to be a good entry signal. Further, we go back 2015 to 2016, the stock market sell off. An all time high in 2015 and 16, giving us a good warning to enter the market. Cryptocurrency 2018, a multi-year high. Followed, of course, by what we talked about before, COVID-19 2020, which was a perfect VIX setup combined with the MACD. Another way that I look at the VIX and the VXN is by putting indicators on top of them so that I can tell which direction the macro market is going. For one example, the MACD, putting the MACD on top of the VIX, of course, has an opposite reaction um, than what it says here. So a MACD buy symbol, signal would be a MACD sell signal, and a MACD sell signal would be a MACD buy signal. But by putting this one indicator on top of it, I can see what the macro is doing. Um, I've also seen, which again, you can look at the video on the MACD, that the MACD works better on one long-term symbols and not the shorter term symbols. So a lot of these buy, sell, buy, sell, buy, sell, I don't look at, but major breakouts like over here is something I use. So again, by putting the MACD over the VIX, it will help you tell when the breakout is happening. You can also do it with the RSI. By putting an RSI on top of the VIX, it will tell you when things are overbought and oversold. So by treating the VIX like a stock will help you choose the overall market. Okay, let's wrap things up with some key takeaways. Investors use the VIX, the VXN, to measure the level of risk, fear, or stress in the market when making investment decisions. VIX and VXN is a way at looking at the market sentiment. Using the VIX and the VXN to anticipate the overall market picture is very useful. If you like this video, Please hit the like button and subscribe for other videos so you can study it, analyze it, adapt it. Peace.